Well, as you know, bats are vital to many ecosystems, including right here in the Cooley region, but they are in trouble. News 19's Chandler Brindley tells you about efforts, though, to assist bat populations in Crawford County. Nestled in the winding hills and valleys of Crawford County lies one of Wisconsin's longest natural cavern systems. Kickapoo Caverns, an 83-acre nature preserve area which used to be a tourist attraction, boasts towering limestone structures, underground pools and stalactites. Earliest human entry to the caverns dates back to the 1840s. This was during the lead, lead mining era, right? And so the, the property does have evidence of uh, lead diggings and, um, and was called the, the Little Kickapoo uh, Lead Mine. It is likely that lead, lead miners discovered or broke open or created the main entrance for, for humans to come into this cave. The cave has been transformed into a bat sanctuary where visitors on Saturday learned what makes caves appealing to bats via guided tour. Bats are amazing animals. Um, and they are fairly restricted by the places where they can spend the winter. And so bats need a place where they can have quiet, undisturbed rest in a cool, humid environment, and caves are perfect for that. Bat species around Wisconsin have been in a rapid decline since 2014. This is due to the discovery of white nose syndrome, a fungus disease of hibernating bats, according to the Wisconsin DNR. Kirkpatrick says that populations have dropped by almost 90 percent, but locally the scenario is looking up. And even though we are still, um, you know, affected by white nose syndrome, um, we are now starting, as I said, to see recovery. And some of our larger hibernaculas have now started to recover up to about half of what they were pre-white nose syndrome. So um, not a full recovery, but at least we're seeing, you know, trajectory and the population trends are in a positive way now. Bringing the population back is somewhat simple, Riddell says. One of the best things that we can do to protect bats at caves is simply to stay out of them during that hibernation period. So one of the things that the Conservancy is doing to protect their bats is, is simply to leave the cave and, and the bats alone uh, for the majority of the year. And that's why there's only tours given maybe a couple of times a year, a couple of days during the summer months when the bats are not here. Wisconsin is home to eight bat species. Riddell adds the most common are the little brown bat and the big brown bat. Kickapoo Caverns is home to four of the threatened bat species, according to the Conservancy. Reporting near Wazika, I'm Chandler Brindley, News 19. Tours of Kickapoo Caverns are by appointment only and only offered a few times a year, but you can learn more about the conservation efforts uh, around our region by going to the Mississippi Valley Conservancy's uh, website.